Hey, good morning. We are looking in the Bible at characters that in the Bible that they have different prayers that are recorded. And so we're going to look at the mother of Jesus. And she has one of the most beautiful prayers recorded in the Bible. So we are in Luke 1. Uh, starting at verse 46, Mary just met Elizabeth, her relative, who was, um, who also was pregnant with John the Baptist, and they just greeted each other. Uh, the Holy Spirit moved on both of them, and now Mary is magnifying the Lord with her with her words. Verse 46, and Mary said, my soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, my savior, for he has looked on the humble estate of his servant. For behold, from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. And his mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud and the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of humble estate. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his offspring forever." So we just want to remind ourselves <clears throat> about the importance of giving God praise and thanking him in every circumstance. I can't imagine being a teenage woman, a young lady who was visited by an angel and was conceived by the Holy Spirit to have the Messiah inside of her. And here she is, she is magnifying the soul, her soul to the Lord. She's magnifying the Lord and just giving him praise, even though she probably knows that there's going to be hard things in front of her, but she knows that the Lord is going to provide. I can't imagine being Mary at the foot of the cross watching your son be crucified, but she knew that she could trust God no matter what. And to, to, to this day, we still call her blessed, that Mary is was a blessed woman to be able to carry the Son of God inside of her, to give birth to the Son of God, and to watch him execute the plans of the Father here on this earth and to rise again from a, a death that was terrible. And it's just... I just, I love the, the character of Mary. I love the person of Mary. And what she says here is that she is magnifying the Lord with her soul and that God has showed up in a way that is putting the enemies to injustice and he's giving mercy to those who fear him. And so I just wanted to encourage you today that you would receive the mercy of God as you fear the Lord, not out of a angry fear, but of reverence and an awe of that God alone is God and we are not, and that we fear him and that we would receive his blessing, receive his mercy today.